I want to show you some tips to help us organize our flow sheets to make our blocks on our streams look really nice. You know, presentation is obviously important. And if you're like me, you're obsessed with straight lines in your project. And so there's a few different tips we can use within Visio to really help us to make things look nice. We have some examples here of some things that don't look too great, things that I would like to correct. And so I'm going to start over here with my inlet mixer. Right now the streams are crossing each other kind of all over the place. So I'd like to be able to flip that around. And to do that, I'm going to just select the block and come to the Home tab. And over here on the right, I can find this positioning option. And down near the bottom, we can see this will allow me to rotate this shape. I can rotate it right or left 90 degrees, or I can flip it vertically or horizontally. And in this case, I'm going to go with horizontal flip. So now those lines aren't crossing. Uh, now that I've done that, however, in my stream, I see this little bend, and that's kind of annoying me as well. And so to get rid of that bend, I'm going to just single click here on the stream, and you'll see these little blue boxes or circles up here. And those are hold points on the stream. So I'm going to come right here in the middle of the bend and click and hold, and that's going to allow me to drag this bend around. And so I can drag it up like that until now it's straight. Another great point when it comes to straight lines if I have this line, it's straight right now, but if I want to move the end around, it will bend like so. If you hold down the shift button while you're changing the length, that will force the line to stay straight. And then when you let go, you still have a straight line. So that's another very useful tip. Next, we can see here my compressor. I would also like to flip that. I'm going to flip it vertically. So we could return over here to our positions. Or we can use some keyboard shortcuts that are also available in Visio. In order to flip something vertically, we can use Control-J, and that will flip it vertically. Of course, Control-V is already taken, so they couldn't use that for vertical. But Control-J is to flip something vertically. Also, Control-H will flip something horizontally. And so you can use those keyboard shortcuts, or you can use the Position tab up above. Next thing I want to do is I want this air cooler and this first cooler to line up. And so that this stream number four doesn't have to bend, it can just be a straight line. And so I'm going to highlight my air cooler and first cooler. And up here next to the positions tab, there's also this align option. So I'm going to choose a line and I want to line up the middles here. So I'll choose to align middle and we see now that my stream four is just a nice straight line. However, now I've got another bend here going into my second cooler. So it's also important to note that if you want to move a block around, you can, with them selected as I have them now, use the arrow buttons on your keyboard, and that will move them up and down, right and left, and so you can place those wherever and however you would like to see them. Now it's an important thing to remember that you can drag blocks and things around, so I can move this air cooler around and the streams will stay connected. However, if you ever grab a stream, so if I grab stream 4 and you try to move that with the arrows, that will disconnect the stream. Okay, and in most cases you don't want to do that. So I just remind you, if you want to move things around, it's easiest if you just move the streams around, or excuse me, if you move the blocks around instead of the streams so that things stay connected. Next tip over here, from my second cooler to my refrigeration unit, I've got this line that's just going straight from point to point, but I'd like for it to be more of a right angle, look a little more square here to fit the theme. And so I can right click on that stream, and we'll see some different options down here below. Right now I'm set on straight connector. I can change that to be a right angle connector. There's also a curved connector feature. So I'm going to change this to be a right angle, and now I'll get that angle that I like to see. Just for fun, I'm going to select a large portion of my project here. Right click and choose Curved Connector. Just to show you, that looks like fun. For those of you out there who are a little more artistic than I am, uh, you can certainly use that feature. Or you can, of course, change it back to your right angle connectors. So that's a few tips here on keeping your lines straight, moving your blocks around, and getting those organized. Hopefully this video has been really helpful for you, and as always, if you have any additional questions for us, and give us a call here at our office. Our phone number is 979-776-5220, or you can send us an email at support 
at bre.com. So thank you all for watching. You guys have a great day.